The Josephine County Board of Commissioners adopted a temporary ordinance Wednesday that could strengthen enforcement against violations of the Rural Land Development Code. The change gives more power to county court enforcement authority, allowing them to write citations and impose fines at illegal grow sites. Motion carries two to one. The dissenting vote was Commissioner Herman Baertrugger, who argued the change did not directly address issues related to the grows. It doesn't provide any more resources. Uh, it doesn't provide any more law enforcement. This ordinance gives absolutely no jurisdiction to Josephine County over water issues. The ordinance will take effect in January with annual reviews of the new rules. The change could become permanent after a public vote. Bear Trigger suggested putting it on the May ballot, but Commissioners Darren Fowler and Dan DeYoung supported a November 2022 ballot vote. Because I think we do need to have a full growth season of this ordinance in effect to see uh, what, what the actual effect is. Each commissioner and much of the public comment agreed the county needs more help from the state and federal government. But we have to show movement on our end in some way or we're just talking to we're just talking to another bureaucratic wall in Salem. The issue was brought to Washington, D.C. this week. During an oversight hearing with U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland Thursday, Southern Oregon Congressman Cliff Benz detailed issues local governments are facing. We have a situation in Oregon that I think is going to be copied across the United States. Benz pointing out not only the local impacts of crime, but the toll it's taking on the workers. The miserable suffering of thousands, if not tens of thousands, of people coming across the border illegally and then pressed into indentured servitude by cartels. Also highlighting the support needed for local law enforcement in Southern Oregon. Your department needs to be doing something about it at the, all the levels you can.